Coach, uh, before we get into tomorrow's game against USC Aiken, um, what were your, your thoughts on your team's win um, over the weekend? I thought we executed the game plan really well. Uh, we had some guys step up and uh, really take pride in attacking um, and uh, not settling for shots. And defensively, I thought for the most part, um, we did a good job trying to, you know, take the coverages that we talked about in scouting report. But Columbus State's so talented. I mean, they, their best basketball is ahead of them, and they've got studs in every position. So I'm thankful we got out of there with a the win. Over nine and threes. You guys are, are a very good shooting team, but you still put up over 90 points without hitting a single three. What does that say about your offense? Uh, we're a work in progress, that's for sure. I mean, looking at how we're shooting threes and assist turnover ratio, I mean, we still got a lot of ways to go. And that was our message after the game is, guys, we're not even close to as good as we can be, could be, if we continue to get better every day. And, uh, you know, so, I mean, I said, as proud as I am as that statistic, it's we've got a long ways to go before we'll be clicking on all cylinders. And hopefully we can get there before the end of February. Spencer was named uh, Peach Belt Conference Player of the Week. Um, first player of the week in, I think, two years. Last year, we didn't have any players of the week. Um, what's allowed him to take that next step from being a major contributor off the bench to now putting up ridiculous numbers? Like he, uh, you know, I think he's taken a lot of pride in uh, him being kind of the, the focal point. You know, we've had Akia Pruitt. Uh, for years, who was the guy? We had Nigel Grant, uh, James Murray Boyles. I mean, we've had, we've been blessed to have some great forwards over the years that kind of have been our anchor inside. And, and you know, it, it was kind of Spencer's turn. He'd been really patient. And uh, so he's kind of taken ownership of that, not only, you know, when things are going good, but when things are going bad and a leadership standpoint, in and out of practice. Um, you know, he's doing a good job just uh, really, really buying into that role and, and being one of our, our, our key leaders uh, on and off the floor. How do you feel that your freshman contributors have um, kind of grown and improved over the, the early stretches of this season? I mean, I think Joey Tambura has the best statement. The best thing part about freshmen is they'll be sophomores one day, you know. I mean, just from a consistency standpoint. But, you know, our freshmen are working really hard. Um, you know, they're going to have their off days just like every freshman should. But guys are really stepping up. And I think uh, it goes back to that leadership standpoint of, um, you know, Tyrell Snipe and, and uh, Ratliff and, uh, and Spencer really taking these guys under their wing and telling them, hey, you're doing great or, hey, you're messing up and here's how you can make it better. And like I said, I mean, uh, the best part out of the season might be the fact that some of our freshmen might take big steps forward and grow up a little bit. That way their future here at UNC Pembroke is even brighter because they've been able to get some experience. All right, so you move on to uh, USC Aiken on the road. They were preseason number four in the conference, so expected to be a pretty good team this year, and they're uh, enter the game two and two. Uh, what kind of challenges do you expect them to present to your team tomorrow? I mean, they're they're another really talented team. A lot of new guys, but I mean, a physical team. They're good at crashing the uh, the boards. They've got a lot of guys that can shoot the ball. Uh, they got some great forwards that they can score inside. I mean, they've got probably the, one of the best rebounders in the league uh, with Latravian Black. Um, he's he rebounds as hard as anybody that we've seen so far this year and they got some guys that can are very skill set offensively and then when they're engaged defensively it's really hard to score against them so they're they're an extremely talented team uh coach Vanderslice done a great job um getting those guys in there and getting them acclimated and you know everyone's still kind of going through some growing pains right now with getting um acclimated to each other and the styles of play and stuff so there's still a lot of teams are going to go through ups and downs and you know their last game they played extremely well and, and beat a really tough north georgia team at home so it's going to be a, a peach belt road battle. Um, I expect it to be a, a very physical game and uh, you know a, a very emotional game. It's always an emotional game when you play Aiken because of how storied both programs are. What are some of the biggest things that you hope to see from your team tomorrow? I hope uh, you know we're not uh, figuratively hung over from this past weekend. You know, uh, I think um, you know, especially with a younger team, sometimes they get complacent after a big win um, and walk into a game expecting things to be easy. Uh, I think we've tried to really press into them that you know uh, after after Sunday, essentially Monday, we're we're back. To, yesterday we're back to work. Um, you know, basically like the weekend didn't even happen. You know, and that's why we're trying to take it a day at a time, one game at a time, especially with COVID and how inconsistent things are. We're trying to just be able to control what you can control. And that's today and how much we can improve. And so, you know, like I said, it's not one singular thing that we're walking into the game saying we have to do this this much better. But, you know, every single day we need to improve in phases that we're not doing very well right now. And there's plenty of them to improve in. Awesome. Coach, thanks so much for your time. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you.